All right, good evening, folks. This is Mike coming back at you with another video on Intro to Algebra. In the previous video, we talked about multiplying uh, polynomials. We saw how to uh, multiply all different kinds of uh, polynomials uh, together, monomials, binomials, binomials, and trinomials. In this video, we are going to talk about the last uh, of the operations that we need to talk about uh, pertaining to our polynomials, uh, and that is dividing polynomials. And dividing polynomials can uh, seem tricky. It can sound tricky. It can sound like this really, really hard thing uh, to do. Uh, but lots of the same methods uh, that we use for dividing numbers uh, are used for dividing polynomials as well. Uh, if you recall, and if you are comfortable with a uh, long division of numbers, then you will see that there is, uh, you'll see that the method that we use for uh, dividing lots of polynomials uh, is very, very, very similar. Uh, you'll see the same type of thing uh, pretty much happening there. But let's start off easy. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is really just uh, reviewing sort of a basic property of fractions. Um, we've used this property where the fractions were just numbers. Uh, so recall for numbers A, B, and C, with C not being zero, uh, whether you're adding or you are subtracting, uh, you can rewrite one fraction where we're taking the difference or sum on the top uh, and we can rewrite it as the sum or difference of two separate fractions. The first thing on the top divided by the entire bottom, and then plus the second thing on top uh, divided by the entire bottom. And same thing uh, goes with uh, subtraction. Uh, and also, we can do this uh, with the difference or sum of however um, of any number of things that we have uh, on the top of our uh, fraction here. Uh, you know, we could have, say, uh, three or four or five or even more uh, separate numbers, uh, like, say, three minus two plus five minus four plus ten, uh, all divided by two, say. And I can break this up. I can do three over two minus 2 over 2 plus 5 over 2 and so on and so forth. Uh, you know, then minus 4 over 2 and then plus uh, 10 over 2. So I can break these fractions up at the plus or minus signs that we have on the top uh, and the bottom of each fraction has to be uh, the well, this same rule applies to uh, polynomials uh, and to terms containing a variable. Now, the nicest type of uh, polynomial division that we can see uh, is where we have a polynomial on top, and then we have a monomial uh, on the bottom, just something with one term. So we're going to use the same principle up here uh, to divide things like this. Uh, you know, we have the 5x cubed divided by the x plus the 6 times x to the fourth divided by the x, and then minus the 7x squared divided by the x. And we can figure out each of these things separately, uh, and then we can just take the respective difference or sum. Uh, so we had 5 over 1, which is 5. x cubed divided by x is x squared, plus 6 over 1, giving me 6. x to the fourth divided by x is x cubed, and then minus 7 over 1 is obviously 7, and x squared divided by x is just x. So we get 5x squared plus 6x cubed minus 7x. Uh, same type of thing happening here. The first term divided by the entire bottom 
plus second term divided by the entire bottom minus third term on the top divided by the entire bottom. And lastly, last term on top divided by the entire bottom. And so for each of these terms, you will divide the coefficients or the numbers in front, uh, and then you'll, you will use your quotient rule uh, of exponents uh, to simplify the x's. Uh, 10 over 2 is 5, and x to the fifth over x is x to the fourth. 20 over 2 is 10, x to the third over x is x squared. 46 over 2 is 23, x squared over x is x. And then 4 over 2 is 2, and x over x, those just uh, divide out to 1. So we just get 2 there. And third one here, uh, a little bit more involved, just one little extra thing that we have to be conscientious of. Uh, here we have two variables, x and y, happening here. That's okay. We're still doing the exact same thing. First term on top divided by bottom. We're starting off at least the same way that is. Uh, 5 times x to the 6th divided by xy plus 2xy divided by xy and then plus 4 over xy. And here we're just going to simplify things uh, where we can. So first term, 7 over 1 is 7. I have x to the 7th divided by x. That gives me x to the 6th. And I will uh, rewrite this so we can, have in it, we can have it in a nice looking fraction here, and you'll see why. Uh, and then we still have this y on the bottom. So we have to leave that y on the bottom of our fraction. Can't do anything with that. Minus 5 over 1 is 5. x to the 6th divided by x is x to the 5th. And then again, we have our y on the bottom. Plus 2 over 1 is 2. And then I have x divided by x, which is 1, and y divided by y, which is 1. So I just have 2 there. That's nice. Uh, and then uh, the last term, I have a 4 on the top. I don't have any x's or y's on the top to do anything with the bottom. So that term we just have to leave, we just have to leave as is. Uh, so those are some nice examples of uh, doing some low level, some uh, nice, easy uh, division of polynomials. And we said earlier on in the video that if you can uh, recall the process of long division for numbers, uh, the process for long division of uh, polynomials uh, is going to be uh, very, very similar. Uh, so maybe maybe for some of us who are uh, younger, uh, perhaps the method of division of numbers isn't so much of a thing that you uh, if you have uh, seen it. Um, maybe for some folks, we will uh, go through it. Uh, what you do is you take a look at your number outside of the house, uh, if you will. Uh, and you see, uh, you know, starting with the, uh, the first digit they have written here that's underneath the house here, uh, can that number outside go into uh, that number, and if so, how many times? Uh, how, however, may, however many times it would go into that uh, digit, we would uh, write it up, um, up on top of the house here. Well, 26 can't go into 1. So now we add on the second um, number that is listed here. Uh, if this number outside can go into this new number, 13, 
we would uh, write the number of times that this goes into this guy uh, up above the second spot. Um, okay, well, still can't send 26 into 13 a nice whole number of times. Um, so we have to include the third number here, the two. So now we're asking how many times can 26 go into 132? Uh, well, if you do some mental math or if you pull out your uh, calculator, uh, if you do 132 divided by 26, you will get five point something, 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 something. Uh, so 26, uh, we can pull five 26s uh, out of 132. So I'm going to put the five up top of the two because that's the uh, last digit that we used in this number. Uh, and if you do 26 times five, you'll get 130. So I'm going to subtract the 130 from the 132. Uh, that gives me two. And then this digit here that we didn't use, that 6, we're going to carry down. So now we ask ourselves, okay, uh, what we have left over here is 26. Um, you know, how many 26s can we pull out of 26? Well, that's exactly 1. And we're left with uh, nothing extra at the end. Uh, so this is a case where uh, the number 26 nicely goes into uh, the number 1,326. But that's not always the case when you divide polynomials. When you do long division of uh, polynomials, uh, you will get some number, uh, or specifically in the case of uh, polynomials, you will get a, a polynomial up top here. That guy is called your quotient. Uh, but many times we also have something extra left over. Um, and a very apt name for that thing that's left over uh, is referred to as our remainder. So that's what we're going to talk about in the uh, next video. We're going to talk about the method uh, for long division of polynomials. It's written right here, but we're going to go through this in the uh, next video in more detail. And then we're going to do some samples uh, where we see how we use this method. So guys, if you have any questions or comments, please be sure to reach out to me. Uh, email, voicemail, text, stop into my office hours, stop into my tutoring hours, see me after class, whatever you have to do. Until the next video, take it easy, guys.